Hi. There was a challenge, or there is a challenge, on creating the crafty life to use reuse packaging. And uh, I've been ordering a couple of things online, and um, this is what uh, the package is in the boxes uh, to protect the products in. It's just like uh, paper bags. You know, it's, it's just kind of craft paper. It's got a little bit of wax, whatever. But uh, the sheets, and they were all perforated. And as I'm ripping them apart, I'm going, wow, you know, I could probably make something with that. You know, and then I saw the challenge on creating the crafty life. So um, these are 15 and a half, I think, by 8 and a half, something like that. And I thought, oops, sorry for the crinkling. And I fold them in half. So I thought, well, all right, let me see what I can do with this. Well, my brother-in-law is celebrating his 60th birthday, and um, his daughter asked if uh, the family and friends wouldn't mind putting something together for him so she could present it to him for his birthday. So my husband got a bunch of uh, uh, family photos of when they were little together, and I thought, what a perfect way to go ahead and make something ah masculine. I'm going to do something masculine. Another challenge for me with ma masculinity as far as making any projects. She can't make it too frilly, and especially for my brother-in-law, this is a manly man, and you know it's like nah, you can't do too much fancy schmancy stuff for him. And uh, so when I when I heard that uh, we have to um, put something together for, to uh, for memories for him, and then I got this packaging, I thought what would be a more more perfect thing is to go ahead and make him a small photo album. So that's what I did. Let me throw this down here. So this is the album that I made, and it is made out of that packing paper. And what I did, um, I'll show you the pages, and I'll find the center folded it in half. So that's what I did. Let me see if I could get this on the screen there. I think it's all... Whoops, sorry. I can't get it to be... So you can kind of see all of it. This is the paper. And what I did is I painted it with gesso and then I um, just, just sporadically just painted it gesso. And then I took Lindy Stamp Gang and Dilution sprays, and I just sprayed, wet it, sprayed it with water, crinkled it up, just to use my heat gun. And this is what I came up with. So these are all the pages. And all I did was use the Tim Holtz reinforce, reinforcers. And for the, uh, and I'll, I'll have some uh, still photos at the end of the video. But... What I did to, for the um, the front and the back is I just made a small back and back cover, and I just have the spine here, just made out of uh, chipboard. And because it's got this blue in here, this is all the delusional blue uh, dilutions uh, inks, and I couldn't find. I thought, oh, what do I have? This is painter's tape that match perfectly with this blue. So this is painter's tape to reinforce the spine here. And then I just had some washi tape. And this is the EK Success, like a, a matte Mod Posh kind of a thing. It was on sale for like $3 at Michael's. And um, I thought, well, hey, I might as well use that. So that's what I did to make it look... I mean, it's still going to rip. It, it feels like paper, but it's almost like feels like vinyl a little bit because I do have that plastic coating on it. And um, I just used um, the grommets here, added a couple little charms. His name is Charlie. And I just added a couple little charms. Like I say, we don't want to go, you know, too fancy schmancy and, you know. And then um, what I did, too, is I'll show in my still photos. I've been taking the tin foil off of coffee filter, the, the coffee, the containers of coffee. My husband uh, saves them for me. And I used my embossing folders. And this one, I don't know if you can see or not, but it says, like, happy birthday all over it. And he's going to be 60, so I just made the 60 with, um, I don't know what kind of pen I had. And I used out naturally because it's metal. You have to use your alcohol inks on that. And then the inside, what I did is here is the spine. That's the chipboard to cover it. And this is, I have washi tape. And I just um, just put a clear coat on there. And that's the front and the back. 
And like I say, these are the pages, and um, it's going to be very, very simple. I'm going to, um, let me show you, oops, sorry, I should have had this handy. Now I'll show you that um, with this craft paper also. I made the tags with the Tim Holtz tag, and it has an embossing folder that I have that has the lines. So what I'm going to do is I will give these tags to my husband and let him write and journal whatever he would like, and then I'm going to have the photo here. It's just going to be a very, very simple, um, simple album for my brother-in-law, but still it's going to be a keepsake for him. And just to show you, too, I have the Tim Holtz die of the bird in the birdcage. And this I made out of the um, the coffee foil that comes from the coffee cans. So there's the bird and the, and the birdcage that I made metal. But I made a bunch of it because I had so much of that packing paper. These are the tags that I made. So that is how I'm just going, like I say, it's going to be very, very simple. I m might add, I got a little bit more of, um, like, let's see here, let me show you real fast. Like these gears, and these, again, are made from the uh, the coffee can tops, the, the, um, the foil, whatever. They cut perfectly with the Tim Holtz. But that's just a little bit of an accent. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate it. But at least it'll just give it a little bit more to the page. Because this looks pretty busy. But all of the photos are going to be Polaroids. And what I did is I made a template out of white cardstock. I had an old uh, Polaroid and I made a template. And all of the photos are going to be on this side. And I think there's 21 of them maybe. Um, and each one of the photos is going to be uh, formatted like a Polaroid. And that is basically how the um, album, album is going to be. But to show you basically, this is what I made. And with, like I say, with the charms. And there's still enough room in here to go ahead. Because it's not going to get too thick, but it's going to be thick enough when, once I add everything to it. But this is what I made out of... So this is my packaging, and I reused it. So that's my challenge that I made for creating the crafty life. So thanks for watching. Bye.